I, I like this crossover better than last year's crossover because there's a lot more normal human things in it. Uh, it's not quite, I mean, it's still pretty huge. There's still, it's pretty fantastical still, but it's more grounded in, um, in the characters a bit. And then also the kind of what comes out of the characters carries along a little bit more. Like it's not as like open shut. Um, the kind of the lessons and things will will carry on through for the characters in the other seasons. So this this year's it's really fun. Yeah. How long are we going to have to wait for White Canary to meet Black Siren? Uh, I have no idea. Yeah, you got to ask the producers on that one. <laughs> it would be like interesting to see, to see. Yes, I definitely would love to see that. And you know, Katie and I are friends, so we're like, when do we get to do scenes together? But it's always hard when you do those crossovers because it just kind of affects so many other things since everything's connected. There has been a lot of talk about, um, you know, female superheroes, especially with how successful Wonder Woman was. But I don't think people realize how many um, strong female characters there are in Legends of Tomorrow. And I think it's one of the best representations of that in the superhero world. Is that something that you talk to people about ever or with your co-stars or other women in the CW universe? Um. Yeah, me and the other ladies of the CW universe, we talk a lot. We actually just started this thing called Sheathority. Um, I don't know if anybody's seen it online, but it's basically uh, all of us from all the different shows. Um, we wanted to, one, we like sensed the kind of collective power that was happening, like when we all got together, and then all of a sudden it was like, oh, like we're one voice on its own, and it's like people can, eh, eh, but when you band together as women, it's, you, it's like this collective power. Um, so female empowerment is very important for us, and that's what this authority thing is supposed to hopefully doing. Right now it's an Instagram and a Twitter, but we want to start a website and have like a weekly uh, email and stuff like that, and trying to just be a platform for all women to feel that power, to feel like they're a part of a pack, and they have this support and lift each other up.